Oh, hey there, guys and girls. Well, it's raining, as you could probably tell. I've done some welding in here. Just welded some small plates in. Filled that hole in with some welds. I've not done a proper job of it, just filled it in. It's going to get cavity waxed and painted over, so it shouldn't be that, that bad. I've actually got some thunder, guys. I'm hoping we actually get some lightning today. You can hear it. It's all up in the clouds though, none of it down uh, ground striking. But I hope it doesn't hit the aerial because uh, we've had it hit that. Not that particular aerial, but when we had the TV aerial that next door's got, we had it up on top of there and we've had lightning hit that thing about three times since uh, we've been in this house. And that's longer than I've been here. Uh, well, I'd say it's, we've had it hit the house three times in the past, I don't know, we're getting on for about 20 years now, maybe. I'm 26 and my parents moved in, I think it was 1985, I think they moved in here. Oh, there we go, we had some ground striking, I hope I got, caught that. That was a ground strike, that. Awesome stuff. Oh, we have got some lightning. Crikey, it's taking a while for the thunder to get here. God, it's been miles away. There we go. You know, guys and girls, it's days like today where I just love to go out for a drive in my car. While it's thundering. Hmm. would be fun. This is going to be a nice peaceful video this one. I'm not going to be doing much. So if you've got, you know, time, you know, just have a video playing. This is going to be a talky video, I'm afraid. I'm not going to get, really going to be doing much. Like I say, the rain's been going. Uh, I did a bit of welding today. Pretty much the wheel arch is done now, um, which is nice. Uh, I can actually stop under sealing the wheel arch. Um, technically building it all back together again. I would have liked to have cleaned off the gearbox a little bit with the jet wash, but yeah, old drive shaft down there. CV boots are perished to hell on it. I want some more. It's a shame I can't see the uh, useless wind turbines. Of course, there is some wind turbines down there somewhere. Uh, they can't get them spinning up because the uh, they interfere with the local airport. Uh, we live right near East Midlands Airport. If you Google it, you'll find it. We live right near there. Well, not right near there. It's about 10 miles away, 10, 15 miles away from here. And uh, apparently, it interferes with their radar system. It creates a blip on the radar, and of course, they can't use it. Now, the funny thing is. But um, they have done tests and things, birds fly, <laughs> they have done tests and things to, to try and prevent the, uh, you know, pre-tests to prevent the things to see if they would actually interfere, and they didn't. However, when they got them up and running, guess what, they did. So they had to shut them down, and I think it's some stupid priced project, which it was has um, completely failed, big time. I'm actually standing out in the rain at the moment. I'm quite enjoying it because I am red hot. It is a really hot, humid day today. And the rain is actually quite pleasant. In fact, I'll show you how hot it is. And our temperature sensor on this garage is pretty damn accurate. That's how hot it is, and it's raining. And the rain is actually warm when it hits you, so it's really, really nice. So I've been drenching myself with the hose pipe while I've been working on the car. Just, just cool myself down. Working in the garage is a nightmare. It's so hot in there. Well, I'll show you some of the things I'm thinking of doing, guys and girls. Now, you're going to get some people on the, on and around who are not going to like this, but keep in mind, we're talking post-apocalyptic here. So I'll hide the camera away. There you go. What do you think about that, guys and girls? I think that's pretty good, don't you? I'm going to plate over the hole a bit 
on this bonnet. I've tried to rust the bonnet a bit by just throwing, you know, um, rust from off the workshop floor basically. Just throwing it over the bonnet and it's actually come up pretty good. It's created little spots of rust. And if I wait for those to get a little bit bigger, and, or I'll keep doing it, I reckon I'll get quite a nice effect. I'm going to do it over the whole car and then what I'll do is I'll clear lacquer it. Hope that'll, um, you know, stay as it is. Now, like I say, with this thing, it's a bit of a funny thing, really, because obviously I can't drive around with it on, because looking out from the front of the car, I mean, I know they do it in America, but... If we look out here, I ain't got much viewing point. So, the best thing about this is that you unscrew it, and that will come off. Leave the plate on the bonnet, and that's got holes drilled into it, so I could just bolt it straight through. You know what? I reckon that's going to work great. What do you think, guys and girls? Give us a bit of a comment on that. Personally, I think it's awesome. Obviously, it's going to serve no performance-wise benefits. It's just going to look, you know, like something that would be on the game Fallout. So I know the cars on, on Fallout I've got, you know, they're based on 50s style, well I've got 80s style sadly, well 70s-ish. So that's the style I'm, I, I'm stuck with working with sadly, so uh, much water I've got on my lens, not much, good. So that's all I can do. But yeah, it's going to be interesting. I've got it one kilo up on two axle stands. I've ordered a new Allen key. Now this Allen key is about a, I don't know what size Allen key it is, it's probably a 14 mil. And I've, well my dad, ground it down to make it a 12 mil to fit his old Fiat Panda when he used to have one many, many years ago. In fact, when I was born, so 26 odd years ago. <clears throat> Let me go and mute my speakers before more music plays because, um, yeah, that was Michael Jackson, I think. <laughs> what was it? Uh, I'm not sure. Oh, it was Heal the World. <laughs> I don't know, I've got that much stuff on these playlists. Crikey, it's gone dark, so I'm definitely some storm clouds coming in. Oh man, I hope we get a uh, lightning strike on the power grid. Well, I actually don't because of all the other people, but if we do, we can test our inverter system. Because I know we've got battery backup, you see. Really nice. Yeah, check out these calipers, guys, look. Aren't they awesome? Of course, all the paint will come off when I start fitting them to the car, but for now, they look pretty good. Pretty good. And I can touch them up. Yeah, not looking too bad at all, that. Compared to how it used to look. It used to look like that thing. Not very, pretty, not very pretty at all, and now it looks like that. Much better. Much, much, much better. Oh, this was a CV boot off Talon. The, uh, that was the gearbox boot. See, that ain't got long left in it. I don't even know why I keep the damn thing. <laughs> I've been cutting plates. Oh, nice thick steel. This is steel that's been thrown in the burner. <laughs> but, yeah, it'll still work. Still do the job. Yeah, I've got a spare wheel bearing. I'm going to reuse this one actually because it's not too bad. So when uh, when the time comes for me to start putting it all back together again, I'll hopefully just uh, stick it in. I may actually build it all up. Sadly, the paint on this I think is still wet. Yeah, it is. Uh, that's the hub carrier. So I'll build this all up in the garage. Yeah. That's what brake. Not sure what they're called. Shims? Slidey pads? Ugh, I don't know. I'm trying to uh, separate thinners. <laughs> 
it's not working too good. Well, we're on 10 minutes are we? Uh, talk for a bit longer. Yeah, the rain's coming down a bit harder, look. Oh, I do love the rain. Washing my bowl out. Oh dear. Yeah. What else was I going to talk about? Oh yeah, I got some new brake pads. Looking nice. Plenty of meat left on those. Not brand new, so there's plenty of meat on them. So they'll be nice and good. Inside here I've got some, well it's paraffin that, but uh, I'm using it as a degreasant. <coughs> Works good. Yeah, not really much else to talk about really guys and girls. I've got, uh, oh yeah, I can show you the very, very pretty. It's a thing of beauty this is guys and girls. Look at that. Beautiful. All new CV boots and everything. Thing of beauty, isn't it, that guys and girls? It looks lovely. Can't wait to fit it to the car. Yeah, I know. Car's supposed to look post apocalyptic and I'm putting things like that on it. But at the end of the day, if the top looks post apocalyptic, at the bottom, I want it to look all nice and good. So I am going to paint the rear axle at some point in time. The whole thing's going to be you know, once over. It's going to look quite nice when I'm done with it. It's just going to have to, you know, wait a while. Wait for the rain to stop. Yeah, that's something for you as well. Trying to get the um, ball joint. One of these guys pressed into that hub. Oh man it took some doing. So that was my first attempt. I've not broke it or anything, it still works just fine, but uh, yeah as you can see. Takes some it takes some doing. <laughs> yeah. Guys you could do with a tidy up. Got a box of random electronics there just littering the floor. You know, as you do. And I love the rain. Well, I don't really love, love, love the rain. I just love the uh, the thunder. And preferably the lightning. Yeah, good stuff. Okay, guys and girls, I'll catch you all later on. As a... Uh, I've got a lot to do, well not really, I've just got to rebuild that caliper up I think. Get all the brake pads in there and get the tool nice and built back up again. Need to sweep the desk up, looking a bit of a, a bit of a mess. So yeah, I'll catch you all guys and girls. Y'all take it easy now, peace out. <laughs>